Now let's learn about the equations of motion so that we can make our player movement feel great. Previously, we added a position variable that incremented every frame by a velocity amount. The velocity is the rate of change of position in time, so we can call that the derivative of the position. What we want to do is to make the velocity have its own variation in time, so that it picks up speed over time. So the derivative of the velocity will be the acceleration, which is the rate of change of velocity in time. So when the player presses the move button, instead of changing the velocity, we'll change the acceleration. And since the acceleration is the change of velocity over time, we can easily calculate the new velocity by adding the old velocity to the acceleration times the delta time, pretty much like we were doing before. And now for the position. Since we are considering both first and second derivatives, the velocity and the acceleration, our equation has to consider them both. So the new position will be the old position, plus the velocity times the delta time, like we did before, since it's the first derivative, plus the acceleration times the delta times squared, divided by 2. If you want to know where this equation comes from, you can watch some calculus lessons online. Khan Academy has great videos on that. Now let's program that. I have to store the velocity across frames, just like we did the position. And I'll call that dB, since it's the derivative of the position, like we discussed. The acceleration, called ddp, since it's the derivative of the derivative of the position, I'll create every frame, because I want to accelerate the player in the frame that keeps being held. So if it's down, I'll add acceleration. Now all I have to do is to add those two equations we discussed. The equation for p, considering both derivatives, and for the velocity. And look at that! We already have nice and smooth acceleration, but it feels like we're floating in space because we have no friction. The friction will be a change in the acceleration, and it will be based on the velocity. That's simple. Those values we can tweak get again exactly how we want. Maybe more Super Meat Boy-like, or maybe more like Mario. Now we have an awesome movement, and that feels really nice to control. Well done! <laughs>